Put in check. <laughs> All right, take three. Action. Both players are doing things. All right. All right, just, just, just. All right, okay. All right. So they're into it. They're into it, and this is going to be a bit of a slow-paced one. Just going to give the warning heads up, because Wraith doesn't need to approach. At no oh point does he God. really need to go in on Mega Man, because everything that Mega Man's going to do is more favorable for Bayonetta. Bullet Climax is going to cover a lot of approach options from King Arc, and it's going to force him to have to utilize his pellets to move in. Unfortunately, Mega Man's big head gets caught out by Bullet Climax. Yeah. So it's, he's going to have to really space himself well. On top of that, one thing that Bayonetta's enjoy doing, because it's it's just a good tactic, utilizing Witch Time to neutralize any of the pressure garnered from projectiles. Even if King Arc is too far away to get caught in the Witch Time and get slowed down, yeah. he's still not going to have to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, it also kind of scares any other player because they're like, oh my gosh, he just Witch Time. So it's going to be like, <laughs> it puts that thought in their head. It doesn't help that Bayonetta's back air is nearly as long as the full range of pellets. So, uh, oh, that's just dangerous. I don't know why you're doing that. That down air, definitely a misinput because that wasn't going anywhere anyways. Very fortunate for Wraith, though, catching it with a witch time. Like, he couldn't have asked for a better setup. Oh, boy. And now Mega Man has to try to seal this without taking too much damage. It's really hard. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of moving in shields, a lot of trying to just pelt away. Both of these characters can get little tit-for-tat damage, but Mega Man needs it a little bit more than Bayonetta does. Oh, man. All right, we got a setup. Oh, no. Well, ooh, that was nice. Oh, no. Wow, that platform actually kind of like, saved them. Yeah, very weird situation. Wraith oh. not looking too clean on the ledge at the platform, but he's not paid for his crimes yet. King Arc not really getting an uh, opportunity to uh, punish him. What? Bro, he really got caught by Bullet Art Extension into Down Smash. Amazing. What? That's so fake. What? <laughs> he just did it. All right. <laughs> this comedy act time. Uh, what? How unfortunate. Yo, King Arc actually had the back air set up. Like, we're going to get the stock. He could have gotten that just a little bit earlier. Gotcha. Mega Man gets turned into, like, a different flavor of grappler in a lot of uh, matchups like this. But I feel like it's more so prominent with Bayonetta. Yeah, you got to... Because it's the safest thing to do against her. You don't have to worry about which time when you just grab her. Plus, Mega Man gets a good deal off of grab. Oh, yeah. Like, if Leaf Shield is up, he's going to get a decent amount of percentage. Wow, that was a ton of damage. Wraith actually responded really well to the air shooter, too. If he started mashing, he might have eaten another one, possibly costing him a stock. Oh, uh, this is bad. This is the reset. Oh, he's Sorry. going deep for it. He still got... Oh, yeah. he doesn't have his jump. All right. Yeah. I thought he saved his jump, but no, nah, that's it. Nah, he, he, she caught it, like, the, second, the first time, and then just reset. He didn't have it. Now, I feel like King Arc could have had that game if he didn't get caught out so early on. Yeah, he, it was looking really even until, like, you know, Wraith got the advantage and then just hit him off stage. Three, two, oh, boy. One, All right, so... Is, okay, different scenery. Yeah, I'll think for Smashville, it's not a bad option. I feel like it is a better spot for Mega Man to be bringing uh, Bayonetta to However, a Bayonetta like Wraith, I feel like it might not have been the best because every time we do see Wraith go in for one of his uh, bread and butters, he's going more for the afterburner kick oriented ones than he's going for the vertical ones. Like he's going more for back air, afterburner kicks, neutral air. He's just looking to you know, continuously reset neutral. Oh, he wanted it. Oh my gosh. Beaten and battered off the platform, but King Arc's still looking on top for it. Damn. Try to go for a little bit of a shield. Like, oh my, what? what? Yeah, so, Metal Blade has multiple hits on it. 
It can actually rack up like a lot of damage if you hit, get hit by every hit of it. More often than not, no, you only eat like two to three at most. Oh man. Yo, this pressure. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's it's a slim percentage chance for her to really? say something. On her spot touch? I didn't know I, that. I love it. People like rag on this character because she's just built better than everyone else. But honestly, she's made so well as far as like being true to her character. Oh uh, no. What? Platform saving King Arc. I feel like oh well, that was a scripted victory right there. Yeah, the platform just being like, I got you, King Arc Chan. <laughs> <laughs> King Arc Senpai. <laughs> oh. uh, so I get this bad witch away from you. <laughs> oh, no. oh, boy. Down so for a Q pickup, but good DI from King Arc's keeping him out of the mix. Still trying to approach with Metal Blade. <laughs> even what? caught out at the bottom. All right. Very cute. Oh, boy. So, 74% and 33. It's just, she's, she's got to watch out for which time. Oh, boy. Yeah, King Arc needs that Metal Blade back. As you probably noticed, uh, Metal Blade has been the starring role of the uh, Robot Master powers that King Arc's been using in this matchup. And it's because he can maintain a lot of his momentum using it, whether it's on the ground or air. And when he's uh, able to use it in all, of, you know, eight of the directions you can just throw it in, it gives <laughs> him a lot of potential for being able to just throw it without well. committing too hard. <laughs> really? He, yeah, he had no resources. He was cooked. Less Metal Blade. <laughs> Wait. Literally, like, the last... So he used his jump there. Yeah. Got hit out of an afterburner kick. Oh, he, he kicked... Okay. Yeah, he had one less kick and one less jump, so he was not making it back from that far. Okay. I thought, like, that Metal Blade killed him, but okay. He just sealed his own death. Yeah. He's like, I'll go down my own terms. So now we got Lilac Cruz. Uh, what would... What? So... What, what would King Arc been? My guess? He didn't want FB. Over this? Won't this, like, stop his pellets? It, it has the potential to block the pellets. However, pellets aren't as big of a role in this uh, particular matchup. Also, and Mega Man can make use of the platforms. But, like, this is, like, probably, like, one of Bandana's best stages, isn't it? It is. This is uh, arguably her best. And mostly because low platforms allow her to you know, constantly make extensions on her combos no. when she needs them. Oh. Take him off the top, and that's going to be the combo to end up King Arcs for a stop. On, to, on top of that, base platform leads to bullet climax pressure very easily for Rick. Now, oh, no. since the beginning of this match, we haven't really had to see bullet climax used in that way, but if Wraith decides to bring the momentum to a screeching halt, he's got the wings to do it. Mega Man has, he doesn't have that many options to really get around it. He's got Metal Blade. And he's got Leaf Shield, but Leaf Shield's kind of bad in this game. <laughs> wow, this is a really uphill battle right now. All right, and like Wraith really holding on to that. Uh, wait, no, he gives it up. Okay. There's oh Ravis. no! Oh no! Yeah, there was nowhere to go. That's why these platforms are so good for Bayonetta. She has the stage. She has so much room and time to be able to. Oh, this is like bad. Oh, hold up. No, uh, wait. He might still He's have his jump. Nah, he uh, jump okay. was lost. Hope was lost. That's how it goes. Wraith moving on over King Arc. I guess like when she up beat or whatever, they immediately took it out. I'm like right there. What is it? Right there. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So it was well played, but kind of like how I was alluding to at the beginning, it was kind of a hopeless matchup. It's just, it's so difficult to play because you have so few tools to use as Mega Man.